Hey yo, you lovely ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangus, and today we're continuing with some Mangus Advance Wars. Uh, I haven't played this hack in a while, because I went away on summer vacation, and then I came back. So, uh, but we still have some world maps that we need to beat, and uh, next up is Wetlands Camp against Walter. And this is an interesting map, it's made by Kartal. Uh, it features constant rain, so there is a way we can completely cheese this map, and I am absolutely going to do it. No shame, I'm going to be playing a Sky. Because she's absolutely ridiculous on this map. So here it is. Time to set sail. Everyone dive now. A little, a little rain should flood all of his good units. So, because we play a Sky, we have a constant 30% firepower bonus. And, uh, yeah, we get we, we move freely through the, the terrain as well. So, yeah, this is a, a way you can absolutely cheese this map. And no shame. And I guess there's no point in popping her, her normal power. You just want to pop her supercell every single time. But yeah, we're up against Walther. He's definitely one of the more meme COs in the game. Uh, he can submerge, or his foot soldiers can submerge. So this map is obviously built to represent that. Um, and when they do, they dive. Uh, you can't target them unless you're adjacent to them. So, um, and uh, he also has... Uh, he, he's very good on shoals, and as you can see, tons of shoals on this map. Uh, they're everywhere, so this map is very much made to accommodate his strengths. Uh, however, he's bad in mountains, so that is something you have to keep in mind. Infantry fight very poorly in mountains. Uh, his powers are a little odd. They reduce the range of your indirects and reduce firepower. So it's kind of like a debuffing power, which is interesting. Uh, and it also makes his subs and foot soldiers stronger. Subs not really something you're going to see a whole lot when fighting Walther, but eh, it's something to keep in mind. I do like the way Kartal has structured this map. Let's check the, uh, the S rank limit. Wetlands campaign by Kartal, S rank limit 22 days. So that sounds pretty doable, especially uh, when we're playing with uh, Sky. Now, uh, Walter is one of the CEOs that don't have a unique CO theme. He uses Drake theme. We have been talking about the prospects of maybe making a custom campaign for Manx Vance Wars, and then maybe have Wild, Wild Matsu compose tracks for the remaining CEOs. It would be kind of cool. We'll see if I want to do that or not. A custom. Uh, campaign does sound pretty amazing. So I'm gonna start off with the tank here. Normally, you don't want to build an early tank here because the tank won't be able to reach the bases in time due to the rain. But because we're playing a sky, this tank will be able to reach the outlying bases uh, very quickly. And we also have a missile here that we can use to slow down Walther's capture game. But I think I'm gonna hold off on it for now. I'm gonna go for the base instead. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna get some more infantry out to capture these properties. So Walther, even though he he isn't any stronger in rain, at least not to my knowledge. No, 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 he doesn't. I think he was supposed to have some kind of rain-based powers initially. Like, I remember he was supposed to turn plane tiles into shoals, but I don't think that actually ended up happening. So, yeah, I'm going to send my tank over here, and uh, we need some more infantry to capture properties with. I'm going to save that missile until it becomes more uh, convenient to pop it. I could use it against the tank, maybe. Yeah, if I use the missile against the tank, then uh, I can send my own tank in there and beat them. I think I might just do that. Other or, alternatively, I could pop my missile on this infantry to delay the base cap. That's also actually something I could do. You know what? I'm gonna do that. May seem a little bit strange, but um, that will allow me to actually reach the base in time to interrupt it, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, uh, and since I have a 30% firepower bonus here. I can deal a lot of damage. Now, it's a show, obviously, so the tank also has a 30% firepower bonus, but I get to strike first, so. And the higher the firepower bonuses rise, the more valuable first strikes become. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna pop out another tank. There we go. And yeah, I will be able to interrupt that, I'm fairly certain, because it's gonna take him three days to capture the base. So if I can just delay any base caps from going through, then this should become a cakewalk. So we're gonna go like this. Boom. 30% <laughs> constant firepower on these tanks. That is pretty epic. And yeah, I... I will be... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to interrupt this with the 30% bonus. Uh, that shouldn't be hard at all. And I'm gonna plunk my tank on top of the base to, de to deny Walther from capping it. And a couple more infantry, and then we can probably start spamming the tanks, I think. So yeah, we can pretty much prevent him from taking a single base, aside from the ones around his HQ, which 
Should make this pretty easy. Okay, he did move with his uh, mech, but he didn't attack with it, interestingly enough. Uh, yeah, a little bit annoying, but uh, should be fine. Do we want to kill this tank? I think we do. It's kind of annoying. It's only on 2 HP, but it will keep shooting on our capping infantry, so it's best to probably just get rid of it. There we go. And yes, we were able to interrupt that. Lovely. Let's go and actually get it. And now I think it's probably just tanks. There's no air units on this map, I think. So... I uh, could get myself a recon, maybe, but nah, I'm just gonna build infantry. Too many forests for the recon to be effective. Although, once I get past the plains and forested area, there's a lot of shoals where the recons will be very strong, so... Ah, uh, maybe, maybe I can make something happen. Alright, can I attack the tank? Uh, yes, I can. Lovely, and the artillery is not in range, so that's lovely. God, I really love Sky's team. It is amazing. And, yeah, so we can let this one go for one more turn. We can bring in more infantry to delay this cap right here. There we go, and let's bring in this tank as well. And we probably need to get ourselves another tank as well. I don't know if the infantry spam, I don't know if there's any point to that anymore. Uh, we can probably build an artillery, I think. Might actually not be such a bad idea. So in comes the recon. That's kind of an oh, okay, all right. Ooh, almost lost my infantry there. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I wonder. Uh, I think we should probably send this tank over here. We have an artillery, but there's no really, there's no way we can really place it safely. I guess we have to do this. Uh, let's pull back our infantry. We cannot attack the uh, the artillery, which is a little bit annoying, but we can kill the mech. And then we can try and prevent him from getting this base. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, even though the mech is probably going to attack us next turn. Could pop the power for the boost, but I don't think there's any point. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the artillery here. And we need a tank over here as well. So let's move in and take this. Attack the mech. That hurt a little bit. It's not on a shoal though, but still. And I say more tanks. Probably another infantry over here. Yeah, the supercell is going to be nice. Oh, he's going to pop his normal power? Be wary of the mists. So that's not super bad. Uh, it will reduce the range of our artillery, though. Oh, I hope I updated the newest version, because I know that this power didn't work previously. We'll see if it works now. If not, if it doesn't work, then that means I didn't update my newest version, because we did fix this problem. The problem with, uh, with the artillery. Yeah, okay, no, it does work. So, you can see the artillery has one range now. So, uh, that was a power that didn't work previously for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. It just didn't work. Okay, we gotta get this artillery down a couple pegs. And then let's put this, uh, this other artillery over here. Okay, we definitely need some more tank support over here. gonna try not to lose my infantry for my technique. Oh, well, I gotta be careful about this base, too. He's gonna cap this base if I'm not careful. Ah, no, nah, I don't think we're gonna do that. Man, this is actually a pretty tricky map, considering, like, I'm struggling a little bit as Sky here, and she's supposed to just trivialize this map. I can imagine it's a lot harder for other COs. But we're moving in with a lot of infantry, and our supercell will be ready soon, so that's gonna be a lot of movement. We can reinforce with a tank here, which is nice. And maybe even an artillery for the bottom. Yeah, I think that will work out nicely. See, I will say Walter's powers, they feel a little underwhelming. Like, minus 10% firepower on vehicles isn't really that big a deal. It's worse than defense, I'd say. It would have been better if his units had just got more defense, but yeah. You know, not every CO needs to be broken. I think Walter is definitely... He definitely trivializes some maps. I played against him. Uh, Ephraim played, played him uh, during one of my streams. And I definitely felt how much he trivialized the game then, for sure. Because, uh, there are some maps that are not- you're just not supposed to be able to traverse. Uh, uh, huh, okay, well I don't want him to get this, so... He probably will not, though. But I still need to be a little careful. But yeah, there are some maps where he can just walk over and just like- like a brush with death, for example. You're just not supposed to be able to, uh... To traverse ocean tiles on that map. There we go. Oh, we have our supercell now. That's good. 
so that's going to be very useful come next turn. And let's keep building tanks, maybe even a recon. Fuck it, let's go for a recon. So we're gonna get that juicy plus two movement next turn. Okay, he's interrupting our caps. I guess I shouldn't be I shouldn't be surprised. Maybe it was a bit silly for me to attempt those. So Ooh, a rocket. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Hope your soldiers don't mind getting soaked. There we go, supercell. That's what happens when an incel promotes. <laughs> uh, boom. Bye, Rocket. It was nice knowing ya. And now we can go and grab this. I think we will actually get this 100%, so that's actually pretty sweet. And I think I will attack over capturing here, because I want to get rid of that soldier. And I'll pull this guy back. We need to get rid of uh, this guy capping the base. Now we will get the base, which is even better. Sadly, we can't break through here. That's a little bit unfortunate. But uh, that's okay. We'll just send this tank back. Actually, yeah, can we? No. It's not possible to break through here. But we can keep the artillery distracted, at least, by capping here. And then we can move our other artillery up here. And I'm pretty sure artillery will focus capping infantry over all the artillery. So that should let us get a free shot off. And same thing here, actually. I think they'll go for the uh, infantry, and, or the capping infantry, so... I think my artillery might be safe, I'm not entirely sure. I hope so. There we go. He'll probably pop his powers now again, I think. Nope! Okay, saving for the super, alright. And base blocking himself with the rocket, that's nice. Yeah, okay. Maybe those caps aren't working out as I thought, but hey, at least I'll get the rocket, so. But we got this base now, and we got this base now. And that is honestly all we need, and we're gonna take two properties down from him in the south. Uh, probably, uh, I'll just keep this tank occupied a little while longer, why not? Boom goes the rocket, and as I thought, it turns out that the artillery does indeed focus on the capping infantry. He builds a lot of APCs on this map. Uh, I, I never noticed this, but yeah, two APCs early on. I wonder if that's something Cardle coded him to do. Anyway, at this point, I do believe we should be able to beat him fairly soon-ish. Uh, I'm probably gonna save up some money so I can buy some expensive units in my forward bases, rather than buying units in the back bases. Alright, here we go. Prepare to drop anchor! Great flood! So, my artillery... I wonder, will my artillery get zero range now, or will they get... I'm actually not sure. So yeah, that's minus 20% firepower for my vehicles. That means my tank should have my plus 10. I don't know if it get, gets updated in the... Uh... Oh, it does get updated. Okay, that's interesting. Wait. Oh. It targets every single one of my units? Oh wait, oh, minus two range for transports, that's kind of funny. So let's see, how does it work? Minus two range for enemy indirects, enemy vehicles have minus 20% attack power. So, okay, so it seems to affect every single one of my units, actually. That might be a bug. Yeah, it's difficult to say if it's really... Uh, yeah, I think it, it actually is affecting every single one of my units. And looks like my artillery just straight up cannot fire. They just cannot fire. So, it completely invalidates my artillery. Okay. That's, uh... Yeah, okay. I'll take back what I said, the power might not be as bad as I first thought. But, I should be... Oh, I cannot reach the rocket. That's a little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. Yeah, I guess good against indirect COs, if anything. Not being able to shoot with your indirects for one turn is incredibly annoying. I, I do wonder how the power synergizes with Gret. Like, uh... How it works when you, uh... When you debuff a buff, essentially. Hmm. Anyway, time for Neo Tank. Let's go. It's time to get serious. Let's bring in this 5 HP tank as well. And these two units... They will just chill here, I think. I don't really think they'll arrive in time to be useful. 
should be getting another supercell really quickly. Oof, I don't know what I thought that would accomplish. Alright, sorry Rocket. Boom. I could keep it in repair mode. That's something I could consider doing. To drain income and whatnot. Yeah, I think I might just do that. I think uh, I think a route sounds uh, sounds pretty likely. Now I can base block him right here, kill the APC, and yeah, I can I should be able to just route route him next turn. So I'll build a tank here. This is more for my technique ranking than anything else, because I always seem to not hit the 300 with my technique ranking, which I think is kind of interesting. Okay, so he should just stand still and shoot. Oh, 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 fuck. He, he killed my tank. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. <laughs> Let's end this off with a supercell, shall we? Hope you brought a raincoat. Bom, 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 Supercell. Okay. Down goes the rocket. Okay, actually, do have to be a little cautious here. Uh, yeah, okay, if I attack with my infantry here, and then I do this, and then this, and then, of course, before we, uh, before we do anything else, always gotta remember to build infantry in every single one of your bases, like so, I think that should do it, and boom, let's see what we got, this should be an S rank, I don't know if it will be a perfect S rank, mm, oh no, it's the technique ranking again, that, that, that I keep not uh, succeeding at. Wow. You're good, but I'm better. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can still check out Manx Man's Horse for yourself by clicking the link in the video description. I do believe we should have ironed out most of the bugs. You guys reported a lot of them, but I think the, I think the ROM should be in a pretty good state now. I love how Walter cracks his uh, appearance right there. But before we end this, we're going to go and we're going to unlock Walther in the uh, in the CO room. And then we're going to take a look at his color scheme, because that's always fun to do. So let's go to the battle maps. Well, hi there, soldier. Do you need anything today? Yes, I do. And then we're going to go and get his colors. We're going to go take a look at his color schemes. Because I know Gatito Sexy did a lot of different color schemes for these COs, so... Uh, actually, no. Is it Was it Hilgarn who did Walther? I think actually Hilgarn was the one who did the Walther. So, let's check him out. There he is. <laughs> okay. Wow, some of these look like... Oh, one of them should look like Amoogus. Don't you guys think one of these you guys should have the same color scheme as Amoogus? That would have been kind of... I mean, I guess this kind of is a little bit. Yeah, this is like Omugus Walther. A little bit, a little bit. Not quite, but a little bit. But, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to be doing the other campaign maps as well, or sorry, the other war room maps. Uh, up next, we're going to do Lapine Hills and then Forest Fire, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and bye-bye. Bum, bum.